Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in today's tutorial, we will be looking at a very interesting concept and a very very important concept called as indices. Now, make indices. Now, what is it? Now, if you had to look at a book or some, take any book for this matter, and if just uh, if you like look at the last pages of the books, okay, there what they'll have is that they'll just have a separate uh, chapter. Uh, for indices, for indices and ref, for colors index, and what they do is that they just list out all the contents in alphabetical order, stating okay, st uh, stating uh, where this particular section or particular index can uh, particular thing can be found. For instance, if you were to look at a mathematics book, and if you want to look at some concept like something like uh, transformations or something like that, okay. Uh, then uh, if you take a book, a mathematics book and look at the back, if you want to look at the transformation part, there are several types of transformations like Fourier, Laplace, Chebyshev and so on and so forth. Don't worry. Uh, and if you want, if you are looking at uh, a book uh, where you have an uh, explanation about animals and if you want to look at some key definitions and stuff, uh, if you look at the back, you'll have indices. And they'll also mention you with sub-levels of ind indicing and everything and they'll just... Uh, show you the page numbers as well okay today we're going to see how to make that possible now what i have here is i just have a simple blind uh, latex file okay and this is how the latex file looks like it's sim in simple i have commented out a lot of stuff so i'll just walk you guys through as to how to make a simple index in the index available in the document okay okay now to start with first what you need is that you just need this package at the bottom top colors uh, make idx make uh, it actually stands for make index okay so the, with this package has necessary commands so that that will help you to uh, help the LaTeX uh, compiler to generate the indices on its own okay S that's the first thing second what you need is that throughout the document write your indices for instance uh, for instance if I were to if uh, I have a I have a small piece of paragraph over here call us uh, I'll just read it out. Hello, I will talk about a few important topics in mathematics. There is a concept called as uh, in bracket uh, Laplace transformation, which is widely used in control systems. PDF, PDE or partial differential equations are quite useful in solving complex physics and chemistry problems. Fourier transformation is used in finding wave motions and frequency analysis. Now, this is actually the paragraph, but it's kind of slightly confusing i like explain what's going on now what i've done is that this in the, the word laplace okay instead of writing it just plainly as laplace i've just you know, written this in with it inside backslash index now what does this command does is that uh, whenever the word laplace comes uh, no okay what it does is that he just adds this word laplace as an index entry as an index entry okay and it's going to keep it as it is Okay, and similarly, uh, ignore the, I mean, just, uh, let's not talk about this for a moment. I'll just talk about the next parts. I'll be explaining guys what this means in a moment. Okay, now, after this, now, in our index file, we have Laplace as an entry right now. Let's go on. And if you go about with this, then we have the PDE uh, written inside index command. So PDE will be another index in our index file. We are in the key in our index file okay and we go about with the doc go about with the flow of the document then you have a word Fourier written inside index command okay now uh, with this your uh, with this uh, your program is over so you have like three indices uh, three keys in your index list which is namely Laplace PDE and Fourier Laplace PDE and Fourier okay now the thing now what happens is that uh, you, now you made the indices ready now to ma uh, to ma tell your uh, com latex compiler to make the indice indices you have to write this command called as backslash make index now unlike make title this command has to be on the preamble meaning before the begin document line anywhere before the begin document line but never inside if you write it inside the begin document will throw an error i checked it it will throw it's throwing an error uh, so Write it on top of the begin document, and that's it. And once you do that, and you're almost through. Now, if you just compile this content, PDF LaTeX, you have the file ready. Okay, there is no index. I'll just explain what's going on. 
compile data gets ready and now what happens is that if you look at this part called uh, index Laplace it just turns out to be uh, this missing which missing so this actually re re missing okay so I didn't notice this part so what happens is okay okay let me fill this first and then I'll explain what's going on one moment please okay now what happens is that when you write this index Laplace or index th this stuff those words not get written over in the document where they just vanish kind of so this is just for uh, this these are like some placeholders to mention the sections okay that's about it now if you run this you see this now the play in the places uh, in the places they are written nice they're written properly uh, they're written properly and like Laplace transformation PDE and everything they're written properly not a problem now uh, if you have the indices ready and what I'm going to do is that now I'm going to print it now print it now to print the indices you need this command at the bottom of the document called as print index okay and if you're writing this uh, as uh, you're writing this in a thesis or a book let's say write this command after your bibliography okay so that the indices are pushed to the end now you can I guess you can put this anywhere but anyway but for uh, for you know for consistency sake put the put this command at the end of the document and now what you have to do is that when you compile this compile the file um, actually nothing happens but unknowing to you, unknowing to you, the index will be generated two or th after two or three times. When you compile this once or twice, your gen index will be generated. So if I were to, uh, okay, if I were, if I were to run this, it then comes out. Now what I do is that me, let me close this and let me delete all these files. So I'll just give you guys what, what exactly happens in the background. So what I do is that uh, we compile this once we compile this once you see the aux file idx file log file pdf file uh, they all get developed and this pdf file if you see in in the first compilation it does not have the index it does not have the index okay and now if i were to compile this for the second time compile this for the second time still it does not have the indi index if i were to compile this for the third time nope even if i compile this for several times it, it won't work because it won't work because there's something is missing there's something is missing okay and what what you have to do is that in that part okay now your compilation is ready the document is ready the thing is the index file has to be generated to make the index file generate you have to type this command make index and then the file name this is nothing but this file name is index one one okay and with or without the extension based on your system uh, command based on how your system works okay so i just type make index and space the file name which is actually index one over index one has written over here and press enter and when i do that what happens is that you see th you see these two files index one dot i l g and index one dot i n d these two get open open up if i were to open this and g edit to see what's happening you see this i uh, index one index dot i l g has some it's it's kind of a it's a kind of a log file it's a log file that's why it's called as i log call as index log file so it just writes uh, this writes all the content saying that it's scanning the input file yeah, in index idx so let's look at index idx how it looks like now if you see uh, what index idx does is that it just goes through the entire document and collects all the index entries index entry names the page number where uh, the page number they are present and everything and makes a list index idx and then in index ilg it just make makes a list of all the log entries that happens just has it just has a log of all the things and then in an in index uh, in index one dot i and d it just creates um, it just creates um, how do you call it? a sorted list uh, like a so, like a bullet list bullet list like that and it's called as the index and then it names all of them 